Welcome to Miami 47. The innovation race is on its last day and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Get into Don't trouble. Worry, folks. Anything can still happen. Okay. Thank you, sir. This uh this will be over in no time. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Hi there. Welcome to the Global Innovation. Hello and welcome to the Global. Sir, no packet. The secret of the demonstration is to keep that car. Pacify the bastard. The Come on, take that guy there. Time's up. We have our winner. Wait, wait, wait. 
Slipprint, you got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well, and there's a bonus in you. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra, make them in for a last minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. That's put me lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then.
you could take a couple of steps back, it would set my mind at rest. You are standing very close to me, sir. Please back up a little. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to go, please? It's just up these stairs. that stuff anyway. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the Expo building. The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's wheels. This is the RK Speed Mark III. This particular car is the first production unit and is identical.
Enjoy, sir. Mr. Mendez? Right this way, see. sir. see. Keep walking. And his return to the limelight will surely excite fashionistas everywhere who, like this reporter, Good to see you. So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, Knox wants to do a large scale field test at the palace in a few months. Huh. Mr. Mendez. Ted, can finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Hello, sir. Let me show Have you everything. Day. I'm gonna say something provocative now. Ted, war is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain. Bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for Hi, flags yeah, and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them <laughs> or patching them up then and there, android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory, uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk. Mendez, I don't have time to play games. Come on back here. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the box, and Palace will do the rest. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table, and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead, make my day.
and just think how much more we can accomplish together. Target My one. brain to more see. money. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> 
If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 